Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the MX Mechanical Illuminated Wireless Keyboard from Logitech. Logitech are well known for creating great ergonomic, comfortable and versatile tech accessories. And with the MX Mechanical Keyboard, you'll find it works hard to work around your needs no matter where or what you're working with. Taking it out of the box, you get the keyboard gently wrapped in tissue just inside the opening, ready for instant plug and play connection to your device thanks to the accompanying logic bolt stashed underneath. On the inside of the lid, you'll find the easy to follow connection instructions mapped out in a handy little diagram. Whether you're using the Logibolt or Bluetooth, it's clear to see that it takes no time at all to set it up. Taking the keyboard in hand, I already see a lot about the design that I really like. Some of my favourite parts are of course the handy easy switch connection system, the practically universal USB-C charging port and the inclusion of the Logibolt for those who don't have Bluetooth on their device. I love how it's practically universally compatible with almost any setup. It's not even favoured towards any particular operating system. It works universally with a whole host of software and devices from Windows 11, Android, Chrome OS and Mac OS. Jumping between devices with little effort. Each key shows both functions depending on Windows or Mac setup, which is brilliant if you tend to switch between both. Looking a little closer at the design, it's nice and sturdy, weighing around 828 grams for the regular size version. It's largely built using a hard wearing dark grey plastic, with the top plate being made from a single stylistic sheet of metal. Whether you like your keys to lie flat or prefer propping it up ever so slightly, there's two little stand legs on the back offering an 8 degree angle to make things more comfortable. With it being wireless, you'll find the USB USB-C charging point on the top right corner along the back, along with a handy little toggle switch for powering down when not in use. I personally have a preference for wireless design in keyboards. I like to fidget and move around, so it's nice being free to move the keyboard exactly where I want it, and as it has the easy switch function, it does enable switching between devices efficiently, connecting up to three at a time without unplugging and docking over and over again. So what makes this keyboard different from any other design out there on the market? Well, for starters, it was made for the everyday user. It's super comfortable for typing over long periods of time, using soft matte keys that house the mechanical nature without the loud accompanying sound, letting your fingers keep up with your thoughts, moving across the keys quickly without fumbling. Its simple grey and silver colouring may seem quite basic, but it's angling for universal here. It fits in well with all my other tech and blends in seamlessly with both my office and home life, making it versatile enough to move into different environments and get straight to work. The MX Mechanical Keyboard has been gifted with the soft white backlight, really adding to the stylistic aesthetic, but also literally shedding light on the keys for better visibility at night, though it's not entirely visible in a well-lit space. When the lights are low, it just looks impressive, creating a softer glow under and around the keys, as well as through the keys themselves. Of course, you can manually turn off or adjust the brightness of the backlight using the function keys along the top if you need to. But interestingly, it houses a smart dimming system that turns on and off depending on the proximity of your hands, and it also adjusts the lights better depending on the light levels within the room. I love this, it really helps play into the whole economic energy saving vibe that I get from most new Logitech accessories, and it helps extend the battery life for longer without being tethered to the power at all times. Logitech's big movement this year has been all about ergonomic tech, delivering accessories that contribute to a better working environment, as well as promoting comfort and a healthy posture. Instead of the scooped keys that hug the fingertips, you get these low profile, flatter switches that still deliver a deeper press without the noise. Typing out a document, there's a huge improvement to my usual experience with mechanical keyboards. The tactile switches still offer that precise, purposeful touch, but without the loud clicking sounds that can be a little distracting. Of course, you can get clicky and linear switches if you wish. But this is a great middle ground for me in between that flat, almost Mac style keyboard and the more traditional raised style. I feel the design does let my hands sit in a flatter, more natural resting position when typing, though I can't say for certain if it helps me improve my posture. I did find that I didn't need to stop and stretch my hands out as often as I usually do, so maybe the ergonomic change, though subtle, does seem to make a difference to the way I work. To give you an idea, here's a quick sound sample of what you'd hear when typing continuously and pressing individual keys. Now there are certain features that only Logitech can provide, making the brand itself an enticing factor to getting this particular model. 
If you're not entirely into the full-size keyboard, there's also the option of the MX Mechanical Mini. It's practically the same with just less weight, less keys, and a more manageable size for typing out on the go or even using a tablet or laptop. The size really makes a difference if you're more likely to take it out with you and move it around. And if you don't need the numerical keys, it just makes sense to offer the compact style to those who prefer it. As mentioned before, you also get Logitech's specifically designed connection system that just makes connecting to your device instant for a more direct route. Along with having the Logibolt receiver for connecting up to six compatible Logitech devices at once for a seamless workflow, you also get the accompanying Logi Options Plus app to help control it all. I personally love this app. It's great if you're customizing your tech, letting you reassign alternate functions to default keys, manage the backlight, check what you have connected, and make important connections throughout cross-computer flow. Even putting aside the detailed customizable options, it's the little things like checking battery life and what devices I also have connected that just makes this device a little more luxurious. The Logi Options Plus app may still be in its early stages, but it's super easy to get around and use thanks to the simple controls and visual layouts, as opposed to to sticking to the tick boxes and drop down menus that I'm used to seeing. Now I'm not saying you need to go out and buy all Logitech devices to make the most of what this keyboard can offer, but why not make the most of the benefits that come with your Logitech devices as they work in tandem with each other and make interactions with your current tech an overall stress-free experience. As this powers up using a rechargeable LiPo battery, it's designed to last longer and be more economically friendly. Of course, the runtime is highly dependent on the backlight, lasting 15 days from full charge with the backlight on and a staggering 10 months with it off. I personally don't mind the short battery life as I get to utilize the backlight. It's one of the best features and with it having USB-C charging, it seems convenient enough just to pop it on charge between uses. Now we've gone through all that it can do, let's just go over what it's actually like to use. If you're used to the more traditional style of mechanical keys, then this might take a little getting used to. I find I don't have to press down as aggressively, opting more for a gentler approach in typing. The keys are a little shallow, but the flatter nature of them does leave less room for mistakes, letting me move my fingers across the keys in a smooth manner. The keys are a little punchier, feeling a lot more muted than the standard clicky type of key. The matte coating can be prone to fingerprint smudges over time, kind of making me conscious of hand cleanliness a little more than usual. But to be honest, I prefer the slightly grippier texture, especially for fast typing. Overall though, I really like this style of typing. It's perfect for writing out documents and the near silent keys just leave one less distraction for myself and others around me in an office environment. So after using the MX mechanical keyboard for a few hours, I can see the benefits of adding this modern accessory to my arsenal. I love that I can get it in the mini variant, letting me opt for a more manageable, portable size, better suited to my taste. It's incredibly responsive and the flat mechanical keys are much more comfortable for fast typing, leaving little room for mistakes. Its USB-C charging is not only environmentally friendly, it's also quicker to recharge and manage battery life. I like having the freedom to customize and manage its functions within the app if I need to, but also I just like having being able to check simple stats like battery life too. The main selling point for me is its wireless nature and adaptive backlight. Not only do I have the freedom to position it best to where I find comfortable, I also get to enjoy the backlight only when I need it, which is brilliant for maintaining that long battery life. So if you're looking for a modern accessory that adapts to your comfort, this keyboard is one to watch out for. So what are your thoughts on the new MX Mechanical Keyboard? Let us know in the comments below and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.